I was at a business conference recently and someone came up to me knowing that I had recently sold my online course business in an acquisition and said, yeah, that was great. But like, I just feel like digital products and online courses aren't working anymore and they're not what they used to be. Essentially, she said, courses are dead. And I nodded, politely grinned, all the while knowing that online courses and digital products are a growing market. And if you wanna earn some side hustle or pivot and go all in on something, you definitely wanna go all in on a growing market. In this video, we're gonna talk about how the old way of doing courses is dead and how can we forge a new path forward and create a dynamic student experience inside our online course Courses that combines both course content and community for the absolute best transformation, creating raving fans that are gonna refer more and more students into your business. If you're thinking about creating an online course or you've got an existing online course, you need a community. That's it. So a simple way to think about it is think of your very first algebra book. You're like, oh, like I'm getting older. I'm gonna be so smart. I'm <laughs> gonna tackle algebra. You were kind of excited. You took the book from the teacher. You opened it up. You started doing the problems on your own. It was fun for the first page or two, maybe. And then you got really bored and you felt really lonely and isolated. You wanted to grab the hall pass or if you were at home, you wanted to go to the pantry and get a snack. The flip side would be if you were assigned to study in a group or you could ask questions or you had a really awesome teacher or instructor who created games to learn the concept, who did polls, who had open Q and A's, who walked around and checked on each one of you individually as you were doing your homework. Maybe algebra was a bad example because it's kind of boring in general, but the point here is, is that the experience can make all the difference in what sticks with us and what we actually learn versus us feeling isolated and bored and kind of giving up and walking away. And if you've kind of been doing that old way of like a learning management system on your website, maybe coupled with Facebook or something like that, you're not alone. Okay. I did that for about the first three years of running my course business. And you know what? It got me started. And that was kind of like, cool back, you know, five, six years ago. So if you're doing that currently, totally fine. Now we're just ready to up level. And if you're not, you don't have a course, consider doing this out of the gate is creating some type of community. Now we can go super basic and if we've got very low resources or we can go ultra fancy, it kind of depends on where you're at revenue wise and if you have any resources to put towards something monthly. The example I'm gonna give you in just a second, which is what I use, it's like a hundred bucks a month. So as long as you've got a couple customers coming in a month, it should be something that's doable. But side note there, I want you to think about the cost of not having it, not having a seamless experience, not have everything in one place, right? So when when we had it before it's like okay the course modules were here but then they had to go somewhere completely different to ask a question it's very disconnected and it doesn't seem like people are going to stick with it or do it in a fluid way so think about how somebody found your course or is going to find your course in the future so maybe you have a really awesome social media page i built my courses on instagram and we created a sense of belonging a sense of community we were serving people there maybe you put an ad out and they identified with the ad and the ad spoke to them through the messaging they felt some sense of belonging or this is gonna work for me in order to click and enter the courses. Or they were referred. They were referred by somebody who said, this is a great experience. I had a transformation, this is worth it. So if those are the entry points and they had a good feeling in order to get them there, we wanna continue that. We don't wanna get them inside and then bait and switch and now all of a sudden they're isolated in a ghost town. As soon as they walk through those members only doors, we wanna extend a virtual handshake, maybe having a welcome video, maybe having a tour around a platform that here's where you access your courses, here's where you can ask questions, here's the calendar of events, here's where you can reach out to us if you have a question beyond this. That's reaffirming to them that they made the right choice by purchasing. A couple other perks of community is that you're bringing people together for community and networking that would never otherwise have met in real life. I've found that interaction and connection is huge not only for purposes of inside a course and getting that transformation, but just for our human wellness. So by creating and offering this community, the value of what you're offering just went up immensely. You're not only helping them get closer to this common goal, you're also just helping them stay well as a human by having interaction connectedness. And then keeping in mind that you're just increasing the value each time a new member comes in because that person is gonna have their own unique viewpoints, backgrounds, and things 
things that they know that no one else in the community knows. And all the other members will benefit from their unique knowledge. Okay, so how do you set this up? And then in a second, I'm also gonna talk about what are the elements of managing and running it, right? Because you don't wanna just fix it and forget it. So I used a platform called Mighty Networks. This is not sponsored in any way. There's other competitors out there, so you should just Google it. But off the top of my head, something like Circle or Podia, Kajabi, but Kajabi's a little clinky for me, but you can still look at that. Accessily, Access Ally, <laughs> Ally? <laughs> I can put a link down below so you can look at the differences, but Mighty Networks was a platform that we use that really up-leveled this dynamic experience. And you're not going to find one of these apps that is perfect or that checks all the boxes of how you want it to navigate and how you want it to display on the screen and how people click from page to page and how things are displayed. However, I had a client recently that I was consulting with that was like, well, I just can't find the perfect platform. Screw that. Sorry just start right unless you've got 50 to 100 grand sitting around to make your own custom app these third-party apps are great solutions to create that community plus course for the dynamic experience here are some things i loved about using a platform like this i love that as soon as they came in i could post a welcome video and a prompt up top to help them know how to navigate and use what they purchased extend that virtual hand and high five to let them know that i was going to be the guide in their back pocket and number three ask them a question to get them immediately engaged into the community. So we could start to tap into who they were and get them more incentivized to bring their unique knowledge to the table. I love that I could sort my content by modules and chapters and that I could put different file types. So a lot of my courses were video based, but I liked putting the accompanying PDFs, the workbooks, and something that I went back and added later was audio because through doing surveys, and if you are not big on surveys or haven't done surveys, in this video I talk a lot about using surveys to nail your messaging to get like those micro conversions along the way. Through feedback, we learned that people wanted some dialogue too. They wanted just audio clips that walked them through some of the concepts really conversationally. So we went back and added a series called Reality Check and it was so easy to just record it on like voice memo and upload it as new content without like revamping a ton of stuff. So I love that you could put different files in there and you could organize the content however you wanted by chapters and modules. I love that users could comment on specific lessons to give feedback or ask questions, helped us to improve the content, as well as identify gaps or things that we hadn't delivered in the content. I also love that we could do suggested content down below. So if they were on a certain lesson or a module down below, we could suggest another module. We could also suggest a different product that related to the content that they were consuming to increase like the lifetime value of the customer and get additional revenue that also served the client in the best way. I love that we could create a calendar of events so that people knew when we would be releasing any new content, when we would hold Q and A's, when we had office hours. So I loved having that calendar of events. They could also use the URL and put into their personal calendar to get alerts and things like that if they chose to. And then last but not least, I love that you could have breakout rooms according to the demographic of the users. So for ours, we were dealing a lot with pregnancy and postpartum. So we would break it out according to where they were in their journey. Maybe they were 20 weeks to 30 weeks pregnant. Maybe they were 30 to 40 weeks pregnant. Maybe they were what we called the fourth trimester was that first three months after baby was born. So we could break it out so that the group questions became even more specific and they could enter the rooms that were applicable to them. Okay, so lastly here, I told you how we managed it. So we actually integrated this into our content calendar. So even though we had a content calendar for social media, we made sure that we were delivering what we were promising inside of the community, which was one live either Q&A or workshop per month. We had weekly office hours. We had a weekly question catalyst that got conversations going and we would always pull our community to see what times worked best for them and what content or things they wanted to see in the upcoming days, weeks, and months. I hope this was helpful for you. Remember the old way of doing courses is dead, but when we couple community with courses and create a dynamic experience off to the races and it's a growing market, can't wait for you to jump into it. Meet me in the comments, ask a question or reach out and let's chat. See you in the next video.